Google's AI is really good at Go, RIP Spoon Rocket, GM teams up with Lyft, and more. It's Tuesday, March 15th, and this is Crunch Report, presented by Toyota. Chalk up another victory for robots over humans. An AI created by Google's DeepMind team has defeated Go world champion Lee Sedol. Sure, this follows other computer victories like Deep Blue defeating Garry Kasparov in chess or IBM's Watson winning at Jeopardy, but Go was considered a bigger hurdle because of its complexity and the enormous number of moves. Plus, the AI, which is named AlphaGo, was supposed to have a more sophisticated approach to playing. It taught itself as the game went along. Here's some consolation for the humans out there. At least it wasn't a complete sweep. AlphaGo won four games while Lee claimed one of his own. So the computer's not completely invincible yet. The last few days have been kind of a roller coaster ride for fans of meal delivery service Spoon Rocket. The site recently went offline, but executives maintained that it was just temporary. However, the company confirmed today that it is shutting down due to a lack of funds. Mm -hmm. Spoon Rocket told TechCrunch's Josh Constein that it had actually found an unnamed acquirer, but they pulled out at the last minute. In a letter to investors, the founders also said the company hit an $8 million revenue run rate at the end of 2015 and was making a profit on each meal. That seems like something businesses should do, right? Make a profit. But it's not guaranteed among on-demand startups. And unfortunately, that wasn't enough to attract investors. The only consolation for Spoon Rocket customers is that Sprig, a bigger competitor, is offering a $10 discount. General Motors is helping Lyft put more drivers on the road. GM recently invested $500 million into the ride-hailing service, and now they're launching their first program together called Express Drive. This will allow Lyft drivers to rent GM vehicles, initially the Chevy Equinox, for around $99 a week, although the price varies depending on how often you drive. Lyft CEO John Zimmer said that in the program's first four cities, that's Chicago, followed by Boston, Washington, D.C., and Baltimore, Lyft has already heard from 150,000 people who signed up to drive but couldn't do it because they didn't have suitable cars. And this could get even more ambitious in the future. Julia Stein, GM's vice president of urban mobility, said, quote, this is going to build structure for autonomous vehicles. To create the infrastructure in many cities is very important, starting with ride sharing with Lyft. I'm guessing, however, that there will be a few more steps before we get from express drive to self-driving cars. OK, so picture the kinds of videos you'd normally see on Amazon streaming service Twitch. Basically, it's video games. OK, now picture the complete opposite of that. I can't say for certain, but I've got a good feeling that you might be thinking about Julia Child, the famous cookbook author and TV host, or at least I am. Yet, Twitch is launching a new full-time food channel, which includes all 201 episodes of Child's show The French Chef, which ran from 1963 to 1973. Twitch's food channel isn't just for catching up on a 50-year-old show, though. Twitch personalities are already live broadcasting from their kitchens. And this isn't the first time Twitch has launched a non-gaming channel. There's also Twitch Creative, a section for artists, which came out last fall. So we've all dreamed of becoming a Jedi, right? Well, not all of us, since I'm more of a Star Trek guy, but most of you. Soon, you might be able to experience your own awesome, heroic Jedi self more convincingly than ever, at least if you've got an HTC Vive. That's because Lucasfilm unveiled a new VR experience today called Trials on Tatooine. There's a video online, but if you want to experience the real thing, by which I mean the virtual thing, you'll need to head to the GDC conference in San Francisco. My colleague Greg Kumparak described it as, quote, beautiful and insane, two words that I would like to see in every TechCrunch headline. And there's probably more where that came from since Lucasfilm has created a new division called the ILM Experience Lab, which is all about translating Star Wars into virtual reality. That's the report for today. I'm Anthony Ha. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. We'll see you tomorrow.